Uh, first of all, it's a great honor and pleasure uh, for me as a former uh, Secretary General uh, to be amongst uh, so many people, whether they are known or not known, uh, to have been fighting against to protect human rights and freedom all around the world. The United Nations Charter, there are three major purposes. One is uh, peace and security and sustainable economic development, then human rights. These uh, three principles are closely interrelated. There are some countries seemingly, uh, people seem to be enjoying economic or social development, but if uh, their human rights are not re respected under tight uh, dictatorial vision, then however much economic development, social development may be there, there's a meaningless. But at the same time, if there is no peace and security, then you cannot expect that people can enjoy and engage in economic and social activities. And if there is no such peace and security, you cannot claim that I have a right to have a freedom or, and human rights. Then which one would be most important? My, my mission as a Secretary General was to ensure that all the people around the world, whether you are politician, whether you are rich, or whether you are powerful, human rights, as a, as a human being, without human rights, then it's all useless. In that regard, I really applaud all of these, some of them, there are just some of them who have been really fighting to preserve peace and security and more importantly, to speak out for human rights of all the people. That's why I am very humbled to be amongst you. I was Secretary General, receiving a lot of respect, sometimes Many people would have been just uh, envying that how can I become Secretary General or how can I be Secretary General? But now, after 10 years of service, I'm asking myself, have you done, have I done enough to make sure that the people in this world are all their human rights have been protected? Have I made it clear that I have spoken out to the dictators of the countries? Yes, I did. I have been confronting so many political leaders. <laughs> one day, one an African president came who had been criticized by the United Nations and by other media. He said that, congratulations for your appointment as a Secretary General. I like you. But he said, the totally unacceptable remarks. Your problem seems to be you are too close to Americans and British. Whatever you said in your statement seems to have been dictated. You have dictated what Gordon Brown, he was a prime minister, Gordon Brown was asking you to say. That was a totally unacceptable challenge against Secretary General. So I immediately rebutted. I am speaking out of my own conscience based on the Charter of the United Nations. Then later, I met him in Africa. I confronted him. I respect you since you were elected by your people. As president, you are the president. I respect you. 
but you have known, you have been known as a freedom fighter together with Nelson Mandela. So you have been respected. Now you are dictator. I don't know. At the end of your life, what kind of a tombstone will be written? Whether here lies a freedom fighter or here lies a dictator. He was, of course, very angry. He died. I'm sure that his name will be remembered as dictator, as one of the dictators. This is what I have been doing myself. We were, I myself, as a Korean, was also under military rule, where many people were killed, demonstrating on the street, calling for freedom and democracy. And there are so many people have been sacrificed. That's why I'm still very much humble today, having met so many of you and so many people are now taking part working for protection of human rights. This is something which can only be done when we are united, when we are speaking out in one voice. That is what I am asking you to do. I am very much grateful to invite me to this place. And I will, even though I'm no longer second general, but I have more freedom, I can speak as a private citizen. And I will be one of you. Let us work together to make this world prosperous, safe, and peaceful, democratic, where human rights are protected. That is our moral responsibility. I don't have any political responsibility. Most of you, and including myself, we are moral people. Let us use our moral voice to protect and to make this world much, much better, peaceful, freedom, and democratic right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.